We've got with us today a Chiapa Mini Sharps, chambered in 22 Hornet. This is uh, this rifle's about seven eighths the size of a regular Sharps rifle. It's been scaled down to be more of a handy carry in the woods type rifle. As I said, this one uh, is. This one is chambered in 22 Hornet. I had one of these rifles a few years back in uh, 357 Magnum. Shot very well, functioned very well. Uh, just didn't see the practicality in it as I was, had a lever action rifle chambered in the same uh, caliber and more practical to keep that than keep both weapons. Uh, bought this rifle primarily for varmint hunting. A little groundhog and, and uh, coyote hunting with this rifle once we get it tuned up and ready to go. As you can see, um, this rifle is uh, very pleasing to the eye. It's a, a aesthetically well crafted, as with any Italian rifle. Uh, the externals on it, wood to metal fit, is excellent. The case coloring is very, very beautiful. Um, this rifle's outfitted with a nice. European walnut stock, oil hand royal rubbed, <clears throat> got the case hardened receiver and lever, beautiful kind of shotgun needner type case hardened butt plate, uh, has a tang sight, uh, pretty well put together tang sight, I mean it's, it's, it's well machined, pretty rudimentary as far as uh, doing any precise target work with. Um, Nothing like a uh, Marbles or Montana Vintage Arms sight that would be more adjustable. What we're going to do with this rifle today, uh, we're going to take the uh, front sight off. It's got a small darkened Rocky Mountain blade sight on the front and replace it with a glow sight with inserts. And we're going to remove the lock because with most Italian guns, um, the ones that I've had experience with, I, I've, I've had three or four Chiapa type sharps, a couple percussion guns, very accurate guns. I uh, had a cavalry carbine in 4570, another very accurate, very beautiful rifle. Um, but uh, a lot of time spent on the externals on these guns and a little bit more time needs to be spent on the internals. Uh, usually could stand a good tuning, um, good polishing on the internals of the gun, and once that's done, they're a very smooth operating uh, weapon. So what we're going to do today, we're going to pull also pull pull the lock off, and uh, do a little tuning on the on the fly and the uh, sear, a little polishing on that, make this lock work uh, a little smoother than what it already does. Uh, we're going to eventually put a. Malcolm scope on this rifle uh, with 22 Hornet. Uh, we're going to be shooting out to 150, 200 yards with this uh, with this rifle, and we want something on it that's going to be able to allow us to perform accurately at that range, uh, and still leave it looking in, with a period look. So we're going to uh, get started on this project and uh, video the rest of it later.